So, what are you up to, Susan? Are you gonna explode another building, huh? I know you did it. Ow. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're back here in a carrot's work. As you guys know, I like to dress up and become um, other, you know, famous Bloxburg characters. Uh, I've became Tom for a day. I built him a house. I also built Glenn a house. I want to continue that, but with Susan. You know, Susan here works at Fancy Furniture. She doesn't seem to leave this place ever, and she just stands here and smiles. And so I'm going to be building her a house today and dressing up as her. And I thought it'd be a great idea to, like, use the items from Fancy Furniture and also base her house off Fancy Furniture itself that will be a fun one um yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and buy some stuff here i don't know what i'm doing i'm just gonna buy a few of these modern chairs um i don't know i'm gonna buy a couple of those buy a couple of these and thanks to this bloxburg wiki page they actually list her full-on outfit including her face her glasses her hair shirt and pants if you ever wanted to look like her they got you covered here and they tell you literally everything that she sells in the store so yeah i'm gonna keep this page open just for references she does not offer discounts on furniture so in terms of the body she it looks like she's using the um, robloxian 2.0 and then i have her outfit ready so let's get her outfit And that's literally all she's wearing. So if you ever want to look like Susan. And here we are. I am Susan Joyner. The Bloxburg Fancy Furniture is really just a brick building with the uh, green. So that's kind of, you know, what's going to happen in this house. Pretty basic, you know, suburban sort of vibe of a home. Nothing crazy. This is my excuse to build something tiny, to be honest. This is like every house. I have small garage as well on the side. We have this staircase shaped looking house. And also, by the way, the inside's going to be unfinished. But just like Fancy Furniture being unfinished, I'm doing that exact same thing for her interior let's put it on this side instead the garage will be on this side oh 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 we're gonna make a fake gable roof right here so we just have to take out all the overhang and then just like this then we copy the same thing on the other side and then i'm gonna give her a nice little porch let's give her a brick porch the brick that is on fancy furniture itself is this one it's just regular brick uh the color for it i would you think it's linen it kind of it kind of looks like linen but it could be like that looks pretty good light orange entire, entire house is made out of brick and then the roof itself is going to be this green color okay if i don't get the exact color i apologize i may even like use a different one just because why not that's the color the slime green oh my gosh her house is beautiful guys it's so beautiful i want to give her those modern windows that you see like on the gosh ooh, industrial house you know for the door we're gonna use an outdated door i think like you know, maybe a fine french door just color it pretty similar like that you know let's get her a nice driveway for her boring house and i'll just do like something like that for her home. Could you imagine if like these actual Bloxbury NPCs had their own houses around the town? That'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of neat, you know? Let's get her a concrete at least. There we go. That would be better. Give it a bit of um different different color vibe, you know? There we go. You know what? I'm gonna do like a floor plan for us before I figure out the window situation. All right. We build the interior of her house. So we need some stairs. And like I said, her house isn't going to be very like, her house is gonna be plain. It's gonna be unfinished, just like fancy furniture interior. So we're gonna grab stairs and put it there. No bathroom first floor. Second floor is where her bathroom is going to be. And it's gonna be like right there. Her bedroom itself is gonna be like right there. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a little layout right there. Okay, uh, so this is a bedroom. Her bedroom's here. Maybe like a laundry room and then a bathroom. I think I might do that. She seems like the type to have that. Yeah, let's do that. For the door, I'm just gonna give her outdated solid panel doors for her rooms and stuff. I think this is gonna be the ensuite bathroom, so she won't have a guest bathroom because she's very private. You know, she lives a private life. She doesn't want anyone invading her personal bubble, and she doesn't. Not, she doesn't really care about other people. So, um, she has her own ensuite bathroom, and this is her laundry. Okay, I think we're good. This is a pretty good starter house as well, if you think about it. Like, if you want a two-story home, that's also like a starter. Literally unfinished. We're, we're making it unfinished. Now we furnish the house with the items we got from Fancy Furniture itself. So her bed is going to be this modern single bed. She is such a fan of her own store that she only uses furniture from her own store. <laughs> 
from her own store. Wait, I just realized there's no door connecting to her bedroom. She's also like, oh, I'm so smart. I'm gonna have a double bed made out of two single beds. So we will do that. Does she have end tables at her store? Cause I did not pick up any end tables. Okay, there are no end tables being sold at her shop, the store. So I'm going to just use like the most like outdated looking ones, maybe simplicity ones. Cause she does sell simplicity chairs. That's as finished as that gets, okay? Actually, yeah, technically we're doing a challenge where I don't color anything because... <laughs> and then lamps. Oh yeah, I'm gonna just use floor lamps that we got from the store as well as the actual lighting. We'll just put one in there. We'll put one down here in the living room like this and this. Okay, she would be the one to have. Actually, she'd probably have this simple one. What's more iconic, guys? What is more iconic in your opinion? Would you choose the curved one or the sofa, the, like the simple one? I think she would have the simple sofa. So we'll have, and then we need some counters. And I went ahead and bought both the elegant and stylish. I think we'll do elegant. It does not sell a stove. So I'm giving her the basic one. It does not sell fridges either. So I'll just get the icebox one over here. And she doesn't sell sink. Okay, there's a lot of things that they don't sell at the, at the furniture shop. So I'll get her like tilt sink because that's just her personality. I don't know. I think of her as a tilt sink person. What does that mean? Do I, did I, did I have one? Oh, I do I actually have a modern one. Okay, look, that's huge. That is a big dining table. We'll go with the modern table that I found from the store because I did buy the modern chairs. I'll give her the cheap microwave there and then a little coffee maker because how, how else is she standing in that store for so long without moving a muscle? She's definitely going to have a bunch of coffee. Okay, sweet. That's Susan for you. She does sell a fruit basket. I did not go shop to the... I did not get the fruit basket from the store, but I can just easily find it in the um, appliances. No, wait, it's in decoration. Wooden fruit bowl from the furniture store. Like, yeah, there you go. I put that right here. Boom. Let's just put one plain carpet there. That hollow one, this hollow TV stand with a cheap TV. And then we can have the bookcases from our inventory that we got. Just make the floor out of like snow or something just to give it a bit of texture, even though it's like plain. Ooh, she doesn't sell paintings. Oh, the plants. Oh my gosh, wait. I'm gonna put it right next to the front door and I'm gonna copy another carpet inside her house. She loves to paint in her spare time, so she'll have her painting easel. Whoa, I just realized how messed up looking this porch is. Oh my gosh. Let me fix this. You didn't see any of that. She loves to paint outside. All right, let's move on upstairs. I already did the bedroom a little bit, just slightly. And then we'll have a laundry room for her. Gonna be a quick basic dryer and a washer. We need to have those books somewhere. She sells this as well. I'm gonna put it on the table. Let's get more plants. Plants that are from the store. It's the romantic roses, the overgrowth floor plant, and the sapling floor plant. So overgrowth, it is. I feel like this is exactly what Bloxburg would have. I don't know, the standards of Bloxburg at the very moment is just... Maybe we can put wall trims in this house too. I love how I was gonna make it like super plain and stuff, but here I am slowly adding a few more like extra little little details but she would totally have wall trims like this honestly i think i'm doing a pretty decent job at like making it feel like a actual blocksburg building i feel like this is just isn't it great i'm putting a bunch of paintings in random places okay i think that's it that's all i want to do that's fine maybe a mop too maybe she's dating glenn Ooh, scandalous. <laughs> scandalous you know what that's that's good that's good you know what kind of car she would have as well I'm going to waste $18,000 to buy her a Rote 500. That's exactly what she would be driving. Talk about outdated. Okay, I'm gonna give her a few bushes and I'll be, I'll be, I'll be done with this. Hi guys, it's Susan Joyner. I live at Fancy Furniture, but I also have my own house. But here is my house door. So, um, if I had a voice that sound like this, look at my house. I just love Fancy Furniture. I had to make my whole house off of this. Okay, I still love how like, some parts of the walls have the the trim uh oh ahem <clears throat> so anyways uh here's her garage lovely isn't it it's got the rope 500 she is a big fan of that car um if you go up to her porch here she this is where her people watching chair her easel she likes to paint if you go inside the house here you're welcomed to her um kitchen dining and the living all together the kitchen living dining room you know she probably was here ever since like the beginning where coffee tables or something i don't know didn't exist <laughs> Did coffee tables exist? I don't know. Yes, as you can see, most of the furniture here is from the actual store. There are some, you know, key things that aren't from it, but I feel like if they were in the store, yeah, 
if they did add more things in the furniture shop, these would be not bad. I actually kind of like this layout though. Like if you give it a really good color and texture revamp, it would actually look really good. Um, but it's also like a simple layout. Like this is the most basic, I think, house layout ever. Oh my gosh, that scared me. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go upstairs. When you go up here, it's a very plain landing area, as plain as her love for fancy furniture is and her outfit. Like, what? Um, this is her bedroom. Two modern single beds or something, because she's so innovative. And then this is her bathroom, which has, um, no toilet paper, but everything you need to survive. And last but not least, her laundry room, where she washes all of her outfits that are like this. This is all she wears. And she even puts her beanie in here too. She washes her beanie quite a bit. So yeah. Oh, I forgot that side. But yeah, that's her house. Very, um, I feel like it's very realistic and is exactly what she would live in. But thanks for watching. That's it for this video. My name is Susan Joyner, signing out. <sighs> what can I say? Susan is just a person of great taste, okay? The fancy furniture taste.